hello to all of our new year sevens. This is a tour of the school site. You're able to get your bearings ahead of joining us in September. We've got over here the bus bays, the bus bays where you'll be able to be dropped off in the morning. You then walk down this path and you walk yourself onto the school site. We've got the playing fields here, We've got some cricket after school at the moment going on. We've also got some tennis over on the tennis courts. This is our new build, our G block. And I'm going to show you what the classrooms are like inside and also the theatre. So I've walked up the school drive and I'm now coming to the side of G block. And you can start to see the rest of the site. Ahead of us we have the tech block, C block, we also have A block and you can see D block. We'll go into these blocks a little bit later and you'll be able to see exactly what the classrooms look like. This is the other side of G block. What we call a colonnade. It's got lots of columns. There's benches for you to sit on at lunchtime. And what we'll ask you to do as year sevens in September is wait in this area by the other side of G block so we can all get together and start the day with morning motivation where we're able to speak to all of our year sevens at the same time, pass on the key message of the day and celebrate success. If we go into G block, there's a number of classrooms in here. And there's also our theatre. So as we go into G block, there are some stairs going upstairs to other classrooms, including art. And the classrooms in this block look like this. They've all got their display boards at the front, and then they've got their whiteboards at the front, both interactive and normal. And then we've got our rows of chairs where you'll be sat, paying attention and learning. All of the classrooms in G Block have exactly the same layout, which will make it nice and simple for when you arrive in September to know where you should be sat, because you'll have your own chair in the classroom and know where you need to be. So again, display board, interactive whiteboard and whiteboard at the front. In all of your seating here. We also have toilets in G block. The boys to the left, the girls to the right. And then we have, moving down here, our theatre. So the Hempai Theatre. We have some classrooms on the right. And as we move down the corridors, we should be staying to the left. But here you can see our theatre. We've got the stage over there. We've got the tables and chairs that have been out for break and lunch. And then we also have our descending chairs. So much like a cinema, these chairs come down on a staggered step basis. And You'll be able to sit in them when we have assembly and have presentations. When we do our school show, we've got the stage to be able to show everyone off, musical performances, and this is an area that brings the whole school together. So I'm back in the foyer of G Block. I'm going up the stairs to our classrooms upstairs, which include art. We have another set of toilets, which are for the year 11s at the moment. We have some more classrooms down this corridor. But down this corridor we also have our art classrooms. You can see here some of the great artwork have been done by our students over the course of this year.
incredible effort and detail have gone into this work. Some of the year seven and eight work that's been going on. Some work inspired by Jackson Pollock by the looks of it. And so this is one of our two specialist art rooms up in G Block. We also have a great view of the field where you can see the after school activities taking place. So I'm heading towards F Block now and F Block contains our science classrooms but also our library. Two of our science classrooms, we've got a number of labs. So coming into A Block, F Block, F Block we have the library straight ahead. A massive range of books are available to take out. Lots of different reading challenges to take part in as well. We have a range of classic books, but also graphic novels, the latest releases. We've also got our student reviews available to recommend certain books to your colleagues. We've got comfy bean bags to sit down and relax as you grab a book. And there's also a number of displays showing what our students are reading and what they would recommend to others. Libraries are really a really great place to come at break or lunch. There's also interventions held here after school. And also in F block are two of our science labs. So I'm coming down the corridor. Two labs look exactly the same. So I'm going to show you F4. And this is one of our newly kitted out science labs. See the gas taps there for experiments, a few sinks, nice and tidy, so lots of learning can go on, with both interactive and normal whiteboard. This is used in experiments when we need atmospheric conditions. We've got some more toilets in F-Block as well as we go past. And as I come out of F-Block, coming round the side and to help you get your bearings if I look to the right there is G block. I'm now going to go into this block straight ahead of me which is C block and this is where our tech based subjects are located. I'm coming round the corner and in this block currently we have computing and IT we also have graphics and RM. Now I know when you join us in September our computing uh, provision will be located elsewhere. You can see here some of our computer science and IT equipment, enabling students to do that from year seven, but also all the way through to GCSE level. Got our got our art textile rooms over here, and we offer textiles and fashion when you get it to GCSE and there's a range of different topics you will try in textiles and fashion and indeed in tech when you join us in year seven you will rotate through different tech subjects you get to try all of these in year seven and eight ahead of making a decision into year nine also in this room hello miss is some more of our wonderful textiles work. And you can see up on the walls, the students have been working really, really hard on. And here's our head of year seven, Miss Leggio. I'm coming back out into the foyer of C Block, and we have our graphics and architecture room, a number of Mac set up to allow students to access the software they need when they're looking at graphics and architecture. We use computer-aided design software. We also have laser cutters within the department to enable students to really, really get to grips with how technology is changing and design features. I'm going to cut through the middle ring, which has again more computers in, a range of slightly bigger equipment into our RM room. 
Students are currently making deck chairs. That's why all the word is laid out. Um, and it is quite impressive what the students end up producing. Again, we've got a range of the absolute essential resources, but we've also got the laser printers and the computer-aided design facilities. I'm going to come out of C-Block. So I'm now leaving C-Block. There are more technology rooms I'm going to show you. What we also have here on the corner of the quad. So we've got C-Block here, the entrance to C-Block. Directly opposite is our student support office. Mrs McCormick is based on student support. She's there to help in any way possible. You might have a first aid issue, you might need a temporary bus pass, you might have forgotten the need to buy a pen. So student support is there. And then we have our quad. I'm gonna start by finishing off the food tech rooms. And the food tech rooms are in B block. So this is B block. We have more toilets here. And then we have our food tech room yeah. and in our food tech room it's quite snazzy we've got all the equipment you're going to need from blenders to blenders and frying pans and scales you can see some of the superb work up on the wall of excellence that's been produced by our food tech students all students in year seven will get a chance to do food tech and then it is an option to choose at GCSE. There's a second food tech room, which is here. I mean, very, very similar with layout, different workstations, pubs, microwaves, ovens, plenty of chopping boards and washing up areas with the teacher based at the front. So I've just come out of the food tech rooms in B block. So I'm just going to come round the corner. And as I come round the corner, we get to the link. The link is where our SEM provision is based. When we help with educational needs, the interventions, it's very likely they'll take place in the link. They have their own set of computers. They also have their own set of Chromebooks. And then off this bigger room, we have intervention rooms which can hold smaller groups taking some extra time on their maths or English, working on their timetables or handwriting, working on any social emotional issues they might have, being able to talk through those problems and work with our SEM coordinators this night and what will be Mrs Barker in September. Their office is there. Students might spend lunchtime or break time in the link, and a number of students choose to have and are invited to have their lunch just on the grass in the nice weather. I'm going to keep walking around the quad. And if we look back to where we've come from, we can see G block all the way down there. B block is this area to the left of the link and the food tech rooms. And then as I walk down here, we have A block. A block is located here we have our drama studio in here and our music rooms so there are our practice rooms where students can have their music lessons and you can sign up for music lessons with mr hilton we also have the normal classroom within the block so this is where our creative types get together And rehearsals go on for our plays. In our drama studio we have the normal classroom setting where students can study scripts and acting methods but we also have our acting space. A nice big professional area with mirrors because dance also can take part in here where students can be creative, show off their dramatic chops, and express themselves. Also in A block, we have more music classrooms, and next year, behaviour will also be based up the stairs in A block. 
No one should have to go to behaviour, but we do all make mistakes from time to time. And you might have to visit behaviour to talk through what's gone on. This is our second part of A block, directly opposite the door I've just come through. And in here will be other music rooms. I'm now coming down to the hub. This is the canteen where students can come and eat their pat lunch but also come and grab a hot school dinner or indeed a cold school dinner because sandwiches and snacks are available. Students queue up around the outside and are served at server. Plenty of space for people to sit down and have lunch. We do have a staggered lunch, which means that we can get all of our students inside to eat if they so wish. The hub continues over here with yet more seating for students to use. A number of students obviously do eat inside and do bring their own lunch, but also uh, a number of students do buy their own food. And sometimes when students have got their food, they choose to eat outside in the quad, making use of one of the benches that we have out or sitting at one of our tables. I'm walking around the quad. We're currently working on this part of the site. We're going to be putting a canopy over and refreshing this so we've got another seating space outside. And as I go, I'm now going to turn over into E block. Our E block hosts our year 10s at the moment, but is re really where geography and history are based. We also have our sports hall in E block. So coming through the door, our classrooms in this block look like this. Very, very similar to what we've seen already. Everyone facing the front, everyone able to see clearly the teacher and the board. More classrooms like this in E block. And then upstairs we've got exactly the same with another four classrooms all on the same layer. What we have here though are some of our changing rooms for PE and where indoor PE takes place. So we do have our sports hall. A nice big space for the students to play basketball, football, take part in mat ball, handball, dance, circuit training, all sorts of PE activities, badminton, table tennis taking place in our sports hall. Directly opposite the sports hall is the gym, a smaller venue where students also take part in sporting activity run by the PE department. When it comes to exam time and assessment time, they take place in here with desks out so students can concentrate, have their own space and perform to their best. I'm now going to come out of E block and show you some more of our sports facilities. So down here you can see students are staying behind after school, take part in tennis. Wimbledon is well underway. And so we have our external tennis coach putting the, play, uh, putting the players, putting the students through their paces. And then I'm going to come round and show you the last block that I have on this tour for you, which is D block. So I'm just coming back round. This is E block where we've just had a little look inside. I'm coming back to the quad. You can see that area I said would be covered when you start in September, so you've got another outdoor space. And then we have D block. Upstairs in D block is where language is currently based. Things are currently being revamped ahead of you guys joining us in September. More artwork up to show off our talented artists. And then we have our classrooms up in D block. Very similar to what we've seen, nice and big, nice and fresh. Display boards all ready for September. A nice clear view of the teacher at the front. 
We have a number of classrooms up in D block and we'll show the science ones downstairs. So I've come down the stairs of D block and I'm walking along the quad. If I look to my left, I've got the hub, canteen over there. I'm going to show you some of our science labs in D block downstairs. Similar to what we saw over in F block. And we have five classrooms along the bottom of D block, all laid out in very, very similar ways for our science classes to take place. As you can see. Coming out of D block now, and just get your bearings. I am on the quad. The left hand side here is the back side of A block. So, the other side of that wall is the drama studio. And as I come round, if I turn to my right, you can see G block over there. So, you get your bearings. If C block, just in front of me, where technology was. I'm going to conclude the tour by walking past Jim Support, walking past our B block food tech rooms, coming round the quad towards reception. Now I showed you at the very start of this tour the entry off the back lane where the buses go. We do have one public bus that arrives at the Queen's Road entrance. The students are welcome to enter the site from this entrance as well. Walking past reception onto the quad, go to their areas. Really look forward to having you on site as soon as possible and joining us in September.